Dynamical systems can have fixed points, just like differential equations. And we can ask questions about the stability of the fixed points, just like differential equations. For now, we're just looking at the real numbers. And these dynamical systems have the form x sub n plus one equals f of x sub n. A real number p is a fixed point if this new value equals this old value. In other words, if f of p equals p. And a fixed point can be stable or unstable or asymptotically stable, just like in differential equations. In this R um, case, it's pretty simple. To study the stability of a fixed point, we look at the derivative. Or more correctly, we look at the absolute value of the derivative. If the absolute value of the derivative is less than one, then this fixed point is asymptotically stable. We call it an attractor. And if the absolute value is greater than one, it's unstable and we call it a repeller. And there are similarities um, to differential equations here that are going to be really obvious when we look at R2, R3, um, higher dimensions. But in differential equations, if you want to know whether a fixed point is stable or unstable, you look at the largest eigenvalue in absolute value. And if the largest eigenvalue is less than zero, it's an attractor it's attractive, it's asymptotically stable. If it's greater than zero, it's repelling, it's unstable. So we have a very similar situation here, except that one is providing the cutoff. And with differential equations, if your eigenvalue is the cutoff value, if you have an eigenvalue of zero, you can't use the Jacobian and things are more difficult. If we have an absolute value that is the cutoff value, if we have an absolute value of one, then we cannot use this rule, this definition, and it's more difficult to know what happens at the fixed point. So there are similarities between this and differential equations.